Wow, I am a big fan of this Snapchat app. I can do so many cool things with my face. Totally awesome. What's up, pal? Looks like you're doing something interesting. Oh, hi my dear Sonia. Perfect timing. I just downloaded the latest Snapchat app. It is pretty cool. The app can detect my face and apply different special effects on my face. Yes, Harry. I know about Snapchat. It's very popular these days. It uses official recognition technology to recognize your face. Oh, really? Are you saying you already know in details how facial recognition technology works? Of course, Harry. Drop by my house as usual, and I'll show you the whole thing. So the first thing that you need to do is install a program called OpenCV, or in other words, it's called Open Computer Vision. And basically, this is the program that can identify images from a picture. So we're going to install that in our computer and we will use this in our Python program to detect images. So at first go to the location where you have saved your, uh, uh, go to the location where you have installed Python and usually you'll get it, uh, you'll get that location uh, when you're installing Python. In my case, it's in the C drive. So I'll go to the C drive and go to the directory where my Python 3.5 is installed. So in programs, Python, so open that folder, go to the scripts folder and over here open a window, type cmd and it's going to open this window in that directory and over here type PIP install OpenCV dash Python. And this will install OpenCV so that you can use this uh, tool or this package, or this library in your uh, Python coding to detect images. So we'll give it a couple of seconds to do the installation and make sure you use, you try to install this with Python 3.5 for this specific program, for this entire thing to work. So you get this message that it has successfully installed everything. So first it collected that package and then it installed that package and installed NumPy and all other related ones. And uh, that's pretty much it. So after you have installed OpenCV, the next step is to run your Python code or Python program that will identify faces in, uh, in an image. So here is the program face detect dash master one dot zip. So you can get this zip file from the cool inventor site and then unzip it and once you unzip it it's going to look like this face detect master so double click on it and you will see a lot of different uh, files inside that so the main program is the face underscore detect underscore cv3.py that's the main program and inside that folder you will see that I have many different images so if I click on this you can see that this is a image of a band. So I have saved a couple of uh, images inside that same uh, folder where from where I'm running the program. So here's Mother Teresa and Abba and there are a few other uh, images there. And you can see that some are in JPEG format uh, and some are in uh, PNG format. So there are different types here. So for example, ABBA is in PNG format. So let's go ahead and run this main code and make sure you open and run this main program using Python 3.5 uh, or over because if you use Py Python 3.4 or any uh, version uh, below 3.5, I have seen that this code does not run. 
So I open this using Python 3.5 and here is the facial recognition Python code. It's very short and I'm not going to describe each and every line. You can just read at these red comments to understand all these lines. So I'm just gonna, so just make sure that in the image path you put the name uh, of the image that you have saved uh, in that specific folder. So let's say that I have Mother Teresa's image. So over here, I'm just going to put the name of that image in this image path and then this program will uh, identify faces in that specific image. So I'm going to type Teresa.png which is one of my picture in this folder. So here I have saved Teresa.png in this folder from where I'm running this main code. So make sure you, whatever picture you want to identify, just make sure you save them first in that save, same folder. So I write that and I run my code. Hit OK. And you will see that, I'm sorry. So it's actually Teresa.jpg, so I put that in a PNG format, so let's change that to JPEG, and now it will run. So I'm just going to run it, and here you can see that it just identifies Mother Teresa's face. It just says it found one face, and it creates a rectangle, rectangle, a rectangle around her face. So let's test another image, so we can do... Angela Merkel this time, so I saved her picture in my folder with this name, so I'll just run the code and you can see that it's identifying her face, so it just, so the way the program works is whenever it recognizes a face, it's just gonna draw a rectangle around that face, so that's one way of recognizing faces, and which is one of the purpose of doing this facial recognition exercise so it could identify this face again so let's do something different right now right now we are going to try an image that has multiple faces like the image in ABBA so I'm just gonna try the ABBA picture so ABBA is in PNG format and if I run this you can see that it identified four faces from this image and draw these rectangles around this face and it says that it found four, four faces. So that's actually the basic concept of facial recognition 